Hey yo, what is up guys, Super here, coming back, brand new Zero Clash of Clans, so in this episode guys, I'll be talking about top 3 craziest players of COC, so if you need to reach channel, subscribe me and watch this video at the end, and with that being said, let's get started. So number one will be this player right now. I can pronounce his name and also his tag will be in the description below and also in the screen. I will just show the tags on the screen and also he looks like a Town Hall 11 with an engineer or you can say a rush base. So the biggest thing for him right now, he has the dark elixir troops right but he has no elixir troops so that is the biggest thing. How can he even do that because at first you have to get the elixir troops and then you have to like farm elixir, uh, farm elixir farming or whatever you want to do. You just have to uh, do them with your elixir troops at first and also after in Town Hall 7 you have to buy the dark elixir troops so that's how you have to do that but this guy he just skipped the elixir troops then went to the dark elixir troops so the simple explanation for that how he did it he actually first went uh, he actually first had the elixir troops and also what after that he actually farmed for the farm for the for a certain a uh, certain amount the amount that you need to buy the dark barracks and also after that what he did he actually sold his barracks so that he sold his elixir barracks then after that he actually bought the dark barracks so that's how you can do that and if you didn't know in back in the day you can actually sell buildings in coc that's how he actually did it and also he just sold his barracks then he had just bought the dark barracks so that's how you have like uh dark troops so you can't do it right now but back in the day you were uh, you were able to do that so it is a pretty awesome thing because he has to do every attack with his dark troops and also it is pretty hard to three star every uh, three star every attack uh, sorry every base because you in every attack you actually have like a single or uh, some of the elixir troops so that's why it is pretty hard and i know that you can three star bases with the uh, dark elixir troops but you will still need a uh, like elixir bases to three star bases with a uh, full power so that's why it is pretty awesome so let's just move on to the second number right there Number 2 will be this player right now. Remember the player that didn't have like the elixir troops that I showed earlier but this thing, this guy is more uh, fun than that because the, he doesn't have a, like a single barracks or you can say he didn't have the elixir barracks nor the dark barracks nor the spell factory or anything. That's why he's pretty awesome. He doesn't even have the heroes right now. So that how did he even, how was he even able to like uh, farm, tro farm or like get the trophies or trophy bush or anything like that. How is he even able to do everything right now? But the simple explanation for that the lies just, just like the last time he just sold everything of it and also he's pretty awesome writer because if you see his base he's a town hall 7 just like an engineer without the dark barracks right now if, if you actually see his base he just looks like the engineer base right but he doesn't have like the uh barracks right now so that's why he's the ultimate uh, he's the ultimate engineer base right now so i think he's like an active player in coc right now he was probably active last month or something like that that's how he was actually able to join so i just think what will happen if he actually um let's just say he actually logins to his account again so if it if he is actually not able to like attack or something like that doesn't supercell like force him to like buy the barracks or something like that i wonder what will happen if he does that so i think they do uh, they actually don't like um give him like an order to just buy everything so that's how i think he will be able to join everything so let's just move on to level three Number 3 will be this player right now. So you might just be thinking why am I showing a normal Town Hall 2 account while I have already shown so many creepy things less like no barracks at all and also because this base is more creepier than those bases because it is one of the most creepiest bases I have ever seen in COC. This has not only one but so many uh, glitches in this base so that's why I'm showing you this base. So at first if you look at this base it is a normal Town Hall 2 account but the thing is he has a clan castle because if you don't know in Town Hall 2 you can't actually have a clan castle so that's why I'm showing you this base. So if, if, if you actually look at his clan right now, you can see he's the leader. But, uh, but if you want to be the leader of a clan, you will actually have to create a clan yourself. And after that, what you will have to do is just like uh, just like be in that clan. So you will be the leader of that clan, right? So if you want to create a clan, then you will need 40k gold. But in Town Hall 2, you can't actually have 40k gold. So uh, I'll explain uh, so many things right now in this base. But there are some, uh, some glitches in this base that are not explainable. So I'll just show those glitches on the uh, later part of the video. So so first is he actually got the clan castle from an offer so if you don't know if you are a town hall 2 you can actually get the clan castle from an offer so it will be an in-game purchase just like supercell will just show you some of some of the gold the supercell will actually give you some of the gold and also they will also give you a clan castle so that's why i'm uh, saying you that he got the clan castle from a uh, offer sorry he got the clan castle from an offer so that is what i'm talking about right here and also the clan thing he actually become the leader right how he got that he actually just 
joined a clan level one clan and after what happened uh, sorry after what happened actually every player of that clan actually just left that clan and also after that because he was the last player he got the promotion of the leader so that's how he became the leader right there and also the other thing right there if you actually look at his camps right there he has five wizards so if you don't know uh, you, you can't actually have five wizards in coc because you can unlock the wizard uh, uh, barrack that unlocks the wizard so that's why i'm saying he can't have five wizards so you might just be saying that uh, he got the five wizards from the first training right but you have to use at least one wizard just to destroy that goblin map so that's why i'm saying it is a glitch or something like that but how can he have five wizards while he have uh, while he is on town hall 2 that is one of the creepiest thing right now but if you look at his profile it is more creepy because if you look at his profile right now the war stars is six stars so how can he have six stars if he is the town hall 2 even he if e even if he was on war he has to use his army right so he has to use his wizards but how does he have five wizards if he have used like uh wizards in attacks and also he got three stars on both attacks so that is one of the creepiest things i have ever seen in coc right now uh one of the most creepiest bases i have ever seen so you just comment down below if you have an explainable uh explanation why this happened and also if you know more bases like this then just comment also thank you for uh, watching this video and also with that being said it is subra peace out